Hey guys, it's Rich with day number 28 of the 40 day empowerment journey. Lesson 28 is listen to the wisdom around you. Many have words to share that are true. Like you cannot get water from a dry well and often only time will tell. This goes along with one of the other lessons that we've already discussed how sometimes we look back on things and see that Certain things were happening within our life that we didn't realize at the time were working in our life to our favor, to our best self. But when we look back, we see that, yes, these little things that happened in our life made us who we are and have led us to our best self, the person who we are now these little words of wisdom out there and you guys know if you follow my channel that this year's word is for me wisdom it speaks much more than the knowledge aspects far deeper than the knowledge aspects it's to me knowledge is factual truth things that can be undisputed However, wisdom goes deeper than that. It's very much the philosophical outlook on who we are and what we are becoming. Little words of wisdom, they come from everybody at some point or another. We see these things that people say, and we follow them in the back of our mind, in our repertoire. We sometimes latch on to them for a moment, at one moment or another, and they become true for us in one sense or another, or they become false to us for one reason or another. But these little words of wisdom that others speak are their truths, and while we may attach ourselves to them for one reason or another, even for a fleeting moment, they are our truth at that time and place and should be embraced as such. We have many phrases that go along with wisdom such as you cannot get water from a, an empty well, out of the mouths of babes, only time will tell, and all of these phrases are true in their own way. For me, wisdom is that constant seeking of my own truth in its own divine sense. How I relate to the divine is my own truth, my own inner wisdom, and how I impart it is my own way of imparting wisdom in its own way, shape, or form. If you've watched my videos, you know that even the goddess that I have come to know is the embodiment of wisdom and what it means for me. The Divine Sophia and who she is in the wisdom aspect of my Christo-Pagan path is very much the seeking of wisdom, the seeking of my own truth in its own way, shape, or form. The way that the divine chooses to give wisdom in any way, shape, or form is truly what my path has become. So, with that, I challenge you to empower yourself to find what type of wisdom, what words of wisdom are out there that are calling to you. Do they hold truth for you? And what type of wisdom are you imparting on others? Is it a way of living that is your way of imparting wisdom? Is it those little catchphrases that you may have? that impart a little bit of wisdom, a little bit of your own truth 
shared throughout the day is your own personal wisdom that you impart on others. So I empower you to find what holds true for you in your own way, shape, or form, your own wisdom that you gather from others. And I challenge you also to impart your wisdom on others, whether by making a video, a blog post, or just by your interaction with other human beings on a day-to-day -day sense to truly own your own wisdom and impart it. So with that, I give you day 28. Tomorrow is Sunday, so as usual, there will not be a 40-day empowerment journey video for Sunday, but we will resume on Monday with day number 29. As usual, in the bottom bar you will find today's verse, along with a link to the poem in its entirety, and other poetry by Shell. Until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye.